Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, <clears throat> as we was talking about, we're going to start working on this. Uh, we've already done a little bit to it, but uh, we're going to start working on this to, to box it in to make another big cage here for the chickens, I guess. Uh, or we could use it for goats. We could use it for about anything. Uh, the plan is we got a bunch of chicks in the incubator or a bunch of eggs in the incubator and hopefully turn this into some type of like a just a run for the little chickens when they get big enough to put outside. So until we either sell some or eat them or whatever it is we're going to do with them, I don't know. But uh, that's the plan. So uh, we'll get started on this. But anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, uh, hit that subscribe button. That helps us out a whole lot. Uh, try to build our channel up a little bit. Uh, anyway, we're going to get started on this and we'll, we'll be back. Perfect right there. But I probably want to go. Three feet right there. I think go down a little more and do the air ventilation. Mm -hmm. Hold that on that line. Okay. Is it in the center? Yeah. So I'm going to go for it.
I want all this to be flush, you know, like for the wire to staple to. And see how this is on here like that. All I'm doing is filling it in. That's all I'm doing is fill, doing fill ends on it. All the way down. And that's it for the wire. I need as much surface to attach the wire to as I can get. From here up, it's gonna be wire. So, and then we'll attach it to all this and stuff. I ain't gonna fill this in because I'll have all this to attach it to, so. And up here, we're gonna attach it up here, here, down through here and here, so I'll be plenty. That's why we've done it over there. This is why we don't get a whole lot done up here during this, this time of year. Pouring rain. Running down my back. I'm gonna crack my butt there, right here. <laughs> we got one piece of the wire up. This is the half inch hard bark lock that we used on all of it. That's why we don't get much done all this rain. Can't get very many videos done.
Let's take one for this one. You know it would be. Alright guys, we got we got this much of it framed up. Uh, it's raining and miserable and muddy and everything else and I'm soaked and cold uh, we're probably gonna quit for the day but anyway I uh, got this side of the doorway framed up this will be wire and metal down here and then I'll come over and put another post here then be you know the same over here and I'll put a door in the center here like like these or whatever we do the greenhouse I'm actually gonna do the same thing around the bottom it would be short it'll be two feet around it around that you know the the perimeter it and the rest of it will be wired that's all framed up ready for the metal on that side then we've got to box that other end in but i can't build this side <clears throat> until i move the lawnmower and the lawnmower is tore up so i'll have to uh basically just push that thing up here out of the way after we move all these boards i'm gonna push the lawnmower over to there <clears throat> try to get it fixed before the grass starts growing, growing really bad so but anyway we're going to get some of this mess cleaned up and we're going to go in for today all right guys it's uh getting dark now and the batteries are at 92 percent uh there hasn't been any sun out today it's been raining miserable cloudy all day today at 92 percent and she has been cooking with the air fryer all electric stuff today uh entire house is running water heaters on you know everything normal so that's as far as it got down as 92 percent so oh guys new day uh as you can see it's actually a beautiful day today it's about about 50 degrees 52 degrees uh, it was raining and miserable all day yesterday but i mean our water totes they're completely full it's running out the overflows on all our water totes so that's 2200 gallons of water um, but anyway like yesterday was working on this here the chicken barn uh, you can see we got the wire up I don't know if you can tell it good on camera or not but we got the wire up on the top got to put another row of wire on the bottom and then I'll put the metal on the bottom uh, the purpose of the metal is to keep say like uh, coyotes or stray dog or anything from just seeing in to the chickens it's a little it's more of a deterrent than anything uh, and then the wire on the bottom will come down and go on the ground about two feet and that's what they call a predator apron and that's all the way around the chicken barn now and i'm gonna continue that all the way anything i build out here i'm gonna put the apron on i'm even gonna do it on the greenhouse actually to keep anything from digging in there but anyway uh we get we left all our tools everything setting out yesterday because we just got tired it was raining and muddy we just said the heck with it went in the house so i'm gonna get everything out get everything started and uh we'll get the we'll try to get uh some more work done on today but anyway guys uh if you hadn't, like i said if you haven't done so yet uh please hit that like and subscribe button uh it don't cost you anything it's free and it'll help our channel out a little bit to hit our subscribe button uh
I'm gonna trim it and fold it over. Try to eliminate, eliminate some of the sharp edges just so the baby don't get on it. This stuff is a little bit more expensive, but this is the way to go. If you're gonna build a cage of some sort, this uh, hardware cloth is the way to go because nothing can just basically tire through it. Well, it can tire through it. But a little harder for them to tire through this than it is the other stuff, put it that way. I'm using uh, three quarter inch staples if anybody's wanting her. And I do lay the staples to it. Actually, after I get done, she always goes back. I mean, always goes back and put some in it too. Uh, we got the most of the wire put up. Uh, I still got to do one more, one more roll wire around the bottom before I put the metal on. But uh, I need to get the metal. We're gonna call him either today or tomorrow and see if we can get some more of the metal. I'm gonna use the used metal like we've been doing on the rest, the whole other part of it. Everything on this thing we bought from the same guy, the used metal, and it's worked out good for what we're doing. So I'm gonna continue to do that kind of thing uh, with what we built here on this barn. And like I said, I'm gonna, when we frame up the greenhouse, I'm gonna go up just like this, this high with metal, and then screen, and then a predator apron all the way around the greenhouse too. But it's, it's the whole the whole greenhouse structure is gonna be wire like this. The tops, there's that. But uh, anyway, anyway, that, we're gonna have to get some more materials before we finish this. But it's getting kind of late today. We're gonna go run the town before everything closes. But uh, anyway, if you haven't done so yet, guys, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, help our channel out a little bit. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.